Chris Paul, the point god, CP3 had one hell of a year with Phoenix this season. He was an all-star again, he managed to get his name in the MVP conversation and shocked the world making the NBA Finals on some incredible playoff performances. Well, after falling short to the Bucks and losing in his first Finals appearance, Chris Paul has options. So in this video, we're going to talk about what he should do. After this incredible year the point God had, CP3 is going to be a hot commodity come this summer. With rumours of the Knicks and the Lakers wanting his services, it's clear that a lot of teams are going to be gunning for CP3 hard. Let's look at the Knicks. They had a great season. They made the playoffs for the first time since forever, had one of the best defences in the regular season. But should CP3 land in New York? The simple answer to that my friends is HELL NO. <laughs> Listen, the East is stacked. They have the reigning champs, the Bucks, the Scary Hour Nets, the Philadelphia 76ers, the Celtics, and the Hawks. With a team that New York already had, adding CP3 to the mix wouldn't be enough to overcome the hump to even reach the conference finals, let alone the NBA finals. So therefore it means the decision is between the Lakers and the Suns. Me personally, and everybody else believe that if LA, can get CP3, that can guarantee another finals appearance, beating everybody else in the West. Playing alongside LeBron and AD creates a super team overnight. The only issue with LA is CP3 has to take a big pay cut. And if you've been following his career, that doesn't usually happen. Chris Paul could stay at Phoenix and get paid over $44 million for one season this coming season. $44 million for one year. So it comes to a decision between his money or a ring chase. And kids, when it comes to guns and butter, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to tell you, CP3 has to choose butter. You can't shrug your shoulders at $44 million for one year. That's insane. He should not opt out. He should stay at Phoenix for one extra year, take the money because he deserves it after what he did this past season and see how the year plays out. He can always ring chase after getting the 44 million but you can't just say goodbye to 44 million. The Lakers can probably only offer him around maybe $9 million, if I'm correct, with their current books. A sign and trade could take place, but the decision CP3 has to make is the money. There's no other way around it, it's the money. Um, if a sign and trade does take place, that's great, but he needs to secure that bag first. So ultimately, if I'm Chris Paul, I'm staying in Phoenix. I'm not leaving to ring chase. Chris Paul's, the, Chris Paul's pretty much a vegan now. He looks great for 36. I'm sure he's gonna be great for 37. God willing, you know, hopefully no injuries. If I'm choosing between 44 million and a ring, I'm choosing 44 million. And then he can go join another team the year after and hopefully get a ring elsewhere. Because to keep it a buck, the Suns are not reaching the finals next year. If we're being serious, the West is too stacked. With everyone being healthy, because obviously we witnessed a lot of injuries this past season. The Suns can't make the finals with a healthy Western Conference. So hopefully he stays, chooses the money, and then goes elsewhere after. 